Working the waters of Hilton Head Island is a way of life here in the Low Country. Whether it's on charter fishing tours or providing seafood for local and regional restaurants alike. Today, I'm going to get a first-hand look at the waterways here on Hilton Head Island from a few local pros. First up, I'm meeting someone who makes his living by taking visitors on private fishing charters touring all the hot spots this low country has to offer. Island native and fishing guide Captain Brian Vaughn has been fishing these waters for over 30 years and I can't wait to see what's biting today. What's up, Brian? Hey, man, how are you? Good, how you doing? Ready to go catch a redfish? Dude, I was born for this. Aye, aye. We are looking for uh, redfish when they're finning, when they're tailing in the, in the shallows, and depth of the water is anywhere from usually six inches up to a foot. So it's kind of crucial getting in at the right height of the tide, getting out before you get stuck. What makes fishing on Hilton Head Island so unique and good? What you're looking at right here, this marsh, it's just a very pristine body of water that we've got the dolphins, we got all the birds, all kinds of stuff you see. Not to mention Hilton Head Island from a different perspective on the water. Yeah, um, absolutely. For this specific type of fishing, it's still kind of virtually untouched in some ways. If you have a spot or flat, you know, you could have it all to yourself. We got a big variety of different species of fish, from sharks to mackerel, tarpon, jack creval, that run during the summer months. Then you get into this time of the year, the fall, winter, spring, uh, your inshore fishing is great for redfish, trout, flounder. Do you fishy, fishy, fishy fish? Oh, there he is right there. See his tail? We had a fish, and I spotted it, and I made a bad cast. I mean, I just, that you don't, get a better opportunity than that, so I'm telling you, I didn't catch a fish this time, it's on me. I still had fun. Yeah, no, it was great. You had some shots. I mean, that's why they call it fishing, not catching. That's right. That's right. My next stop is to see a local who grew up fishing these waters as a kid. Now he owns and operates the family restaurant where they pride themselves in serving as much locally caught seafood as possible. Beautiful morning on Hilton Head, and we're actually on the May River right now. A lot of the shrimp that were spawned in the spring that are just now getting to the size that they're large enough to feel comfortable coming out of the tidal creeks. And we have an opportunity to throw the cast net for them and catch them, which is just amazing. What's the strategy, the best strategy for catching shrimp? What's first? So we're gonna go start at 25 feet. We're gonna throw the cast net a couple times, and then when we find the shrimp, we're gonna stick with that depth and try to catch as many as we can. Then um, you bring them, you scoop them up, and then what? You put we'll them put on them the right deck. on the deck of the boat, sort through if we catch any bait fish, we'll pop those back in the water and then put the shrimp in a basket and keep going. Love it. Now it's on to the restaurant's most popular dish on the menu. What exactly is a stone crab? The stone crab is a very heavily armored crab. We set crab pots in the spring and summer and early fall, and we check those pots, and if the stone crab's big claw is of size, we will take that claw off of the crab and set the crab free. See you later, guy. Catch you next year. How long does it take to grow another claw? A year to yeah, get one back. Like, that's in. probably a year and a half, that. Okay. But it's really neat because you might catch the same crab and harvest the claw of the same crab three or four times during their life, which yeah. is pretty neat. That is neat. The cool thing is that no matter what day you come to Hudson's, you're eating stone crab claws that are less than 48 hours out of the water, which is pretty amazing. Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah. I love your story. I love this place, the island. It's amazing. This is awesome. Thank you, man. Thanks for Thanks. having me on. Yeah, well, I'm so, so delighted to share it with <laughs> yeah. you. What an incredible day working the waters of Hilton Head Island. But let's be honest, this is way more fun than work.